PSYOP that comes to the forefront now is the notion that so many, uh, many spiritual teachers will say things like, you are so much more powerful than you, than you know. I'm taking this to be some kind of like buttering up of the ego. And we had a lot of narcissism happening. So I'll keep referring back to the work of Sam Vaknin, who is a traumatized narcissist. But he's found that the best way, well, the only way, he suggests it's unrepairable, that the damage was too deep, and that that the best option for a narcissist is to then become of, sir, of value. I don't know how to say service. To, contri to channel his... Uh, what's called narcissistic supply to things that are useful to others. That's what I'm sensing is, is required for the, what's called being in alignment. Just watched a channeling from Kevin Mullen from getwisdom.com who channeled Tracy Twyman. It yeah, getwisdom.com, working to save and heal humanity. I, I said before, hum, there's no such thing as humanity. Humanity is not a collective group. We can't it's not possible for us to all think the same way and to have the same actions. That's called cloning. So in this channeling, he said something about alignment and it was the same exact language I've heard come from Teal Swan about being in alignment. So when I think of alignment here in terms of redirecting your narcissistic supply to something that's valuable for others, just uh, and uh, being of even the idea of being of service is the same falsity that's called uh, serving a higher power. So they all collide together at some at some juncture. And Wait. I started the video off. The PSYOP is called
I missed it. I went too far away from the theme. I went too far away from it. I can't pull it back. I started out saying something. I was climbing up the stairs. I came up here. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. It's coming to me now. The idea that that you are much more power. <laughs> it took me minutes. Okay. That who you are on a daily basis, the person we interact with, the person in the mirror, the one you meet face to face, That this is just a sliver of who someone is. Judge a book by their cover. Vision. Image. The image below the surface. Shallow. Now I hear spiritual teachers tap into other people's subconscious and say things like, um, who you are is just a toenail of the bigger thing. And it conjures up, even conjures is kind of a fucked up word to use here. It brings an image of an iceberg. It brings an image of a I mean, I guess they're metaphors that these teachers are trying to use, but then you'll also hear people talk about um, if you only knew how powerful you really are as a creator being because the rift here it gets you into being to to detaching from your moral ethic. Well, let's riff on that. I don't want to go on and on and on about this. But you get you get lost and being lost like that 
you end up in the underworld. You end up being dead. Halfway in. Halfway in. It'd be all right to jump all the way in. It's the, in my, the way I'm putting it together, it's the same thing as, so in uh, Mr. Cousins speaks about this. There's a message here in this book. Be in the world, but not of it. And Mr. Cousins expands that out. To say you can participate in the, in the matrix of commerce without being owned by it or without it changing your behaviors or without it consuming you totally and um, having to play by its rules. So since we are creator beings... In collaboration with the creator, then Then we don't have to play by their rules. To be in, to be in but not of. To not belong to. Someone else. So it's both true and not, as I'm here contemplating deeply. <laughs> Shallowly. Contemplating shallowly. That it definitely pushes the ego, the confidence, confidence, egoless, egoful, big ego, personality. That who you are is just a little toenail of your higher aspect you know i i don't want a higher aspect you see i just want to be completed i want to be full i am full i am full i am me and my perception of me 
through my past is creating me in the same the same way and that should be okay but then there's rage and the rage becomes your will and your power and you want to apply it but as you start to apply your power it gets sapped and stolen it gets taken by hybrids and it makes you question am I the hybrid and you're still there as both in and out in and out and it hurts But you can't feel it. Because there's a perception that that this earth is trashed. The perception of earth at all is a psyop. How to blink out or how to be in, how to be engaged, how to be engaged and uh, want to be engaged and someone's trying to butter you up by telling you that you're more. You're more. That's a dis a Disney logo. You are more than what you have become. And here, on a daily basis, we interact with each other. And communication does not happen. It's a shallow. It's a shallow. Um, shallow man. So, I'm going to keep walking because we want to heal. I want to heal. I want to heal. And I refuse to do the inner work. Because there's outer activities that we all do. And to, to, to be lost in inner work would mean your outer activities are completely worthless. Heal. Want to heal, but we're not going to pay to heal. Want to learn, but we're not going to buy to learn. Want everyone to be Free want me to be free, want to be free, want to unshackle. 
Still shackled, see? So encouragement, you end up just encouraging yourself, you know, talking to the, talking to a wall. And it's fucked up and I'm angry about it. But we don't know who to hit. So we just hit ourselves. That's fucked up. <laughs>